Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to show you guys some science experiments for fall and some DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to click that like button. If you just like this video, then just like this video. If you are not subscribed, then subscribe. I also want to let you guys know that I am having a giveaway right now. I am giving away two $500 gift cards on my Instagram. You have to be subscribed to this channel and you have to follow me on Instagram. And if you guys want more information on that, then just head to my Instagram. I also do have a vlog channel in case you guys want to go check that out. And I also do have a candle line and I will go ahead and link those down below. So for this video I did team up with some amazing friends. Peter is making a black bath bomb, Andrea is making pumpkin slime, Breland is making body hacks, Nicole is doing crazy hair hacks, Slava is doing single life hacks, and Christian is doing 100 pieces of gum. So make sure to go check out their videos after you finish watching this one. Tell them I sent you and all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get straight on to this video. So the first science project or DIY I'd like to show you is applesauce oobleck. All you need to make oobleck is water and cornstarch. But we're doing this fall theme so we're using applesauce and besides it smells amazing. And we're also going to need cornstarch and that's all you need for this oobleck. Just add it in slowly and mix. You never know how much you're going to need. For me personally it's always like a 2 to 3 ratio. 2 being the applesauce or water or whatever and 3 being the cornstarch. You know you're done when it's super hard to actually press on it. It's going to solidify once you put pressure on it. But once you let it run free, it just melts like liquid. It's so confusing. It's like a solid and a liquid in one. So next up is this cute little pumpkin stress ball. All you're going to need is a balloon, and I'm also taking some polymer. This is super absorbent polymer. This is the stuff that you find inside diapers, etc. I'm taking a water bottle with water, and I'm going to add a tiny bit in there because this thing grows like no other. It's kind of like crushed Orbeez. That's basically how I can explain it. Then I'm just going to attach it to my water bottle, and that's basically it. Just squeeze it in, and boom, you're done. And then you'll have your super cool squishy stress ball. By the way, can we just ignore my fingers? They are super stained by food coloring from another DIY in this video, so ignore that. To draw my little face on, I'm just using a Sharpie, and that's basically it. You can also do this with ghosts, maybe Frankenstein, etc., and they just come out so cute. This next science experiment is dancing corn. So you're going to need some popping corn. You're going to need a tall container. You're also going to need two cups of water in this. You're going to need some baking soda. You're going to need about two tablespoons of this. And you're going to stir that until it dissolves into the water. Once it's dissolved, you're going to put your corn in. I also put a bag under my cup because the next one can get a little bit messy. You're going to put some vinegar in there and just in case it overflows, you want to put something under it. And there you have it, dancing corn, a cool science trick for kids. Next up is making a little ghost slide with a balloon. So cute. So you're going to take some coffee filters because this is the only paper that is going to float or fly or whatever. With a sharpie I'm just drawing a bunch of cute little ghosts and then I'm going to cut them out. This is the easiest project ever. After this, all you're going to need is a balloon. You're going to blow it up, get some static onto it, rub it into your head a little bit, and boom, that is it. It's going to be a little bit strong at first. It's going to suck them all up, but after a while, it's going to have them floating one by one. This next DIY is the water marbles ice balls. So these are actually really cool if you live in the snow. I'm just so excited about fall that I had to do these. A lot of people do these for winter too. I decided I want to make mini versions of these. So I'm taking small water balloons and I'm just going to add one drop of food coloring to each. Just one drop. And then of course you're just going to fill them up with water and that's it. You're going to put these in the freezer overnight. Let them get solid. And then they are done. This is how they look. These are really cool. Like I said, if you live in the snow and just have them around. It's just so cute. They just look so cute in general. Look at these. 
So last but not least, we got Ghost Slime. All you need to make this is some clear Elmer's glue, and we're using the Borax method for this one. I usually always use Staflo because it's so much easier for me, but when you want crystal clear slime, with Staflo it's kind of impossible, it's going to come out cloudy, so we're using the Borax method. The Borax method takes about a warm cup of water and a fourth of a teaspoon of Borax. Mix that together until it dissolves, and then you're going to add it into your mix slowly until it comes together like so. And then we're going to add some cute little eyeballs in there and that's basically it for your ghost slime. And that's actually it for all these science projects and DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to click that like button. If you just like it, then just like it. It's okay. Comment down below your video suggestions. Don't forget to go check out my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!